Okay, so forgiveness in advance for the quality of this video. I didn't really bring a mount for uh, my phone to do a, a video like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, get down on the trail and uh, sort of show how it's set up. Um, but here you can see, basically you've got width for two people going side by side. Um, somebody wants to go faster than this, you know, they're gonna have to cross into the uh, other direction of, of uh, traffic to get around people that are, that are not riding in tandem on the trail. But anyways, here we go. So, one of the f <laughs> crazy things I noticed down here is, you know, again, this is a 75 foot wide plus corridor and there's about 12 feet here of trail. We got a fence directly up against the, uh, the trail right here. And in areas like this down here, you'll see, <laughs> check out this van. The dude's like halfway into the lane of the bike path. So, you know, you've got traffic here. This is going to cause problems. You got junk being stored out here too. So, you know, here you've got a vendor that sharpens knives at the New Leaf and he set up his solar panels right on the trail. So, you know, you got this. Then, okay, here we come up, up, up on an intersection here. So, here you can see I gotta go around this power equipment. I gotta come up to a stop. I gotta negotiate any pedestrians, any traffic that's coming through here. There's no stop sign for the cross traffic. So, and like, this dude is challenging me on whether or not to stop there. So, yeah, that's great. And here we come up on the next section. Here you can see a guy on a skateboard smoking dope. It's smelled from here. And walking his dog across the leash, totally across the trail. So it's going to be a real challenge to pass him. And then I got another, another set of dogs coming up here too. So again, multimodal trail be fine for this. You can put the dog walkers on a different section. Okay, great. I got to cross the dog fight now. But you know, here you see, and then when I'm coming across this corridor. I've got two dangerous fences I have to come up, up to. There's no runoff area right here. And, you know, I'm on a very tall bike, so I'm okay. But somebody on a standard size bike, these posts are right at face level. So if you go off, chances are you're going to impale your skull on this shit. Okay, now coming down a little further. Again, shoved into the corner up to the side, the corridor here, <laughs> check out this intersection, you have to navigate. So, train, no problem, cruises right through. Here, I've got to do an awkward stop, I've got a 90 degree turn to go across an intersection, then I have to go across another intersection, and then I'm through, but... <laughs> That's a lot of navigation right there while the train just goes straight. And again, not much room for passing there, so I have to go on the other side. Not much of a run, of a run there either. I'm up on another stop sign here. Last time I came through here, I had a bunch of kids on scooters coming the other way, not paying attention. So it was very slow to get across. Here, <laughs> right where the lane is, they've got to kick off on the curb. So, you got to keep your eyes open on this because it's just incredibly bad. Then again, here I'm stuck in a sandwich corridor. I'm up against a dog eared fence. Here we go, another stop sign. Stop again. Look both ways. Here's the uh, bloody propaganda location. Again, tons of room on the other side here. And here we are shoved in the corner in this little canyon <laughs> in a flat area. Imagine what happens when we get into having to uh, get into areas where they excavate. This is going to be nasty. Okay, only trash bin I've seen on here so far. Here we get a little bit off the corridor, which is nice for about, I don't know, 150 feet or so. And once again, 
come up on a kind of a weird crossing. <laughs> no idea what that's for. If they can get through there. But there it is. And then another pretty bad intersection here. So this, <laughs> it's like, okay, I gotta stop. I gotta look behind me, see if there's any cars, because there's no stop for the cars coming from this street. Go across, out on the street, no protection. And then back, and then again, the curbs aren't cut for the, the lane. And off we go. So. Now we're up Bay Street. Now this was really awful. So when I first came up here, this is the end. So no more after this. Then it's very confusing, especially for somebody coming off of Bay Street, try to figure out how to get over here. No crosswalk at the actual trail. You have to go two blocks down this green corridor. So when I came out here, it was very confusing, and there was a couple that was trying out the trail just before me, and they had to, and basically they got split up, and the wife had to wait like over a minute for traffic to clear so that she could get through. And so that is basically the end of it. So that's $10 million, folks. I mean, I don't know if <laughs> you felt like you got your money's worth, but this is an actual, this is an absolute travesty. And this is the cheap part, too. So as we get further along into this, the prices increase as we have to get in to excavate, remove trees, and use eminent domain to cross across areas because they didn't do their homework when they actually purchased this corridor as we're finding out as they go through the, the, the northern sections up into Davenport, um, that, you know, here, this was somewhere between nine and $10 million to do this. The next seven miles is supposed to be $100 million. $100 million to do this next section. Mind blowing. And then as we get down into where I live, in Rio Del Mar, the cost is absolutely skyrocket. It goes to $45 million a mile because we have to go in and replace rail bridges with new rail bridges, lower the highway, add other bridges for pedestrians, where we could just easily reuse the bridges that are already there for a trail-only solution and go in with bus on shoulder and bus rapid transit, which would be a much more effective and scalable solution for, for Santa Cruz County. So, just absolutely incredible. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, please get involved.